Hello everybody and welcome to Let's Play Calciv 3. So this game's still in beta as you can see right there, but it's far enough along the beta that I think it's time for me to play it. I'm gonna show you guys off. So what do we want to play as? Well, we can see race traits and abilities. Let's look at the Terran Alliance. Terrans are the inventors of the hyperdrive and the youngest race in the galactic stage. Of the committed diplomats, Terrans have met have a militaristic streak that has taken many best We are adventuresome, which means we move move faster. We're fast, which means we also move faster. We're likable, people like us. Organized, it's, it allows us to have more shows and productivity. We don't wanna go, I think we're going to want to go for someone who has a lot of productivity. The Dragon and Power are profoundly evil and warlike. Exceedingly clever, clever and vicious, there are few beings capable of meeting a dragon and not becoming its next meal. Humans! Okay, but they're brutal. Jeez. Great at planetary invasions. Discontent. People hate. People. Our own citizens hate us. Courageous. Our ability to, our ability to resist planetary invasions. Militant. And tough. We have the Altarian's resistance. They're extremely religious and self-righteous. They're clever. Content, fast, influential, organized, but fragile. fragile. I don't like fragile. Oh, uh, we have adventuresome. The Iridium Corporation, they're ultra capitalistic. They're adventuresome, clever, economical, infertile, productive trainers. Adventure, and then we have the Kyan Syndicate. They're a coalition of races united by a, a religion. They're adventuresome, fast, fertile, unlikable, passive, which we don't want passive. Observance good and traitors is good, but I think we're good with my personal favorite, the Your Signalarity. Is it Your or Vor? Someone leave a comment, I need to know. Our leader is N7, our homeowner is Iconia. We can't customize that yet, they'll add that in later. We're a sentient ra we are a race of sentient artificial means. We have no need for crude means of repro reproduction and consumption and can instead build citizens. So. Preparing citizens is really good. We're observant, organized, productive, and resilient. People don't like us though, but hey, to heck with them. Now, they seem to be the only people that have an ability synthetic machines. Disables food instead of an assembly, blah blah blah, as used to be citizens. Okay, so we're just gonna start playing as the robots, the cold hearted evil robots. So, I'm gonna go. Medium sized galaxy. Uh, ra random. Randy random. Okay. Galaxy, what do we want? Star frequency. Occasional, occasion. Uncommon. I'll leave everything like it is. Victory conditions all. Galaxy difficulty. Cannot change that. I think believe. Add planets frequency. I don't care. Anyway, I'll put it on regular. Galactic events, occasional. Opponents, they're all be on beginner. Cause I'm, I'm just, I'm just starting out. Don't want too many people. Okay, let's go. So the game's just gonna load up. I've played before for about two or three hours, but that's about my extent of knowledge of the game. So we'll see how things go. I this game for 50% off Steam a while ago, and I've been meaning to do a series on it for a while. Hmm. Come on, let's load. Uh, I always hate waiting for stuff to load. But I mean, it's gotta generate an entire galaxy and all that stuff. So it's perfectly fine. Here we go. Your Singularity. The Your are sentient artificial beings, originally servant species known as the Iconians. Granted sentience by the Dreadlords, the Yor turned against their Iconian creators, apparently wiping them from the face of the galaxy. The Yor have since become viciously xenophobic and despise all biological form life forms. Yeah, we hate humans. Yeah! <laughs> Capable of long-term planning and a surprising degree of coming, the Yor will often speak to and negotiate with organic beings. Those beings should understand that this is but a short-term ploy and that they're their new friends will never rest until they and all other organic life is destroyed. Yeah. Though you are highly productive and capable of building large fleets of self-repairing ships, the profoundly unpopular of few races opt to befriend them. Unlike organic races, their growth rate is a function is a function of production capacity. So we've got a colony ship. 
There's no... We start out with a colony ship, a survey ship, and a scout. So, I think we're going to set the scout to explore. We're going to set him to survey. No, not set tree. Survey. Is it good? Yep. And is there anything we can colonize? Not that we see yet. So we'll just send you somewhere. Let's see how that goes. No one's going to have a military yet, so we won't have to worry about that. Let's go to research. So, what do I want first? Uh, hmm. I think I'm going to want just manufacturing abilities so I can build buildings that allow me to that allow me to so I can upgrade my basic manufacturing so we do better with that stuff yeah I don't know why it was so hard for me to do this one. so these first few turns are gonna go pretty fast I'm gonna want to get a bunch of manufacturing in one place plus three to military okay and maybe when we get done with that we'll do fast assembly which is basically how we get more population I know that, that stuff says it'll take a lot, but don't worry. It'll start going a lot faster. Faster. It'll start going a lot faster because once we finish building one collective, we'll build it to another. Build a Xeno Archaeology mod. Okay, any, any habitable planet? Any habitable planets yet? Nope. Let's keep going. Any habitable planets? Nothing yet. Anything? Wonder how far away I should look for like the habitable zone, the habitable zone. Okay, so this is the limit of the galaxy over here, and this is our supply limit, this white line right here. Ships can't go past there because they wouldn't be getting supply if they did. And they just die, I guess. I don't know. That didn't really get us anything. Should I do militarization, defense systems, weapon systems, interaction? Um, hmm. Improvement level plus one. I think I'll just get power matrix next. That allows us to increase our pop cap. I'm going to want to get a high pop really fast. Okay, let's keep on going. Again, any planets that are habitable, please. <laughs> oh, there's one. Oh, you can't make your way there. That's out of your range. Well, poop. Ah, oh. ah! Oh. Don't do that to me, game. That is cruel. It's just barely, barely barely too far okay well you know what that means wait a second oh my gosh I don't care what the name of it is that's our first colony dough straight to this one finally after their long journey the colony set foot on the alien world untold effort and struggle were required to even get this far but it's only the beginning the galaxy is filled with worlds for the taking Oh man look at that cutscene so pretty so pretty Okay, so, alien cultural trash. Well, that's nice. This planet was once a home of an alien civilization who disappeared a thousand years earlier. Although none of their technology is new to you, many of their environmental enter entertainment products remain intact and are of great interest to the colonists. Unfortunately, almost all these shows and programs are incredibly ch childish and pillory, featuring an unfortunate amount of jokes about Orphice. <sighs> Mm, okay, we're gonna be merciless. I want to be merciless because being merciless, merciless is the best thing to do, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Or be usually pregnant pragmatic. Hmm. Hmm, I think it'll be pragmatic. Well, I decided what I was gonna be real fast. Okay. So we'll get two factories or three factories up. What's this? Population. So we'll build a power thing there. And then research. Okay, so we we'll have research built buildings over here. And we'll do a fast assembly. Uh, let's build another scout. If we could find a plan over here, we could use it as a stepping stone to get to those. Let's keep on going. Again, it, these first few turns are going really fast. So, well, we got power matrix. That's good. That gives us more population. Interstellar tra travel. We're going to need that in order to just keep on moving around yeah I'm able to upgrade this colony so it can actually go over there oh we found one it's earth like um build another scout I guess pretty sure in We'll be able to build a colony ship Mark II, I believe. Hey, you don't need to explore over there. We've already done it. Or explored mostly over there. You serious? Oh, no, you can make it. Okay, it's just a scout that can't make it? What? How are you a scout if you can't even get that far? Wait, is it the survey ship? Is it? The scout must just be derpy. Choose a new tech. Oral manufacturing. Uh, what do I want? Awesome versus powers. Reproduction. Fusion matrix. Fusion matrix. That will lead to the fusion matrix, but I think we'll get. We don't need any military thing yet. I think I'll get orbital manufacturing. So that'll allow us to go. That'll allow us to make half decent crap. Okay. Good. So we have the Mark II everything, we'll build the colony ship Mark II, it'll be able to get over there for sure. Wait, how, how much pop does this thing have? Don't want to expand too fast. 7.5. Colonized planet, yep. Yosef, your top hot Austrians just jab, 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 jab. You fake and smile, not as you understand, then proceed to close the incoming message. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's so bad. Whatever. The planet is populated by a species of gigantic subterranean insects that are thankfully normally not hostile to us. Our scientists, however, have identified that the walls of their nest are lined with rare materials which we could pot potentially excavate. This will not please the scorpions. What are your orders? We won't risk an all-out scorpion war, but this is worth studying for. Continue with non-invasive research to find out how and these beasts are gathering and producing these relatives. For obvious reasons, they have become... They have become almost mascots of the colony, and anything that would deserve to make the people unhappy. Pragmatic. We should crush the insects like insects. No. And order everyone to wear boots if they're leaving the colony. Uh, that's... that's... No, no, just, just no. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Is this good for? Oh, that's an influence thing. Should I build a consulate? Yeah, why not? Oh, I can build a power matrix. Okay, I'm gonna need to go to the Econia. Yes. Um. Excuse me. How did that get to the top? Whatever, whatever. I don't know what just happened. I'm not gonna worry about it. Okay, prepared. Allows building a, the building of a preparedness center, which creates five pragmatic ideology points per center built. Constructive. 
We have established a number of public-private partnerships in case of the creation of a constructor vessels. Exporter grants a free freighter and freighter license. Neutral, no more to clarify. Don't know. Exporter, sure. Can we do? Can we do multiple of these? This grants a free frigate. Let me get a free frigate. Okay, whatever. Deal ship, that's a freighter. What do we have to trade with? Take me back to your house. It's a freighter, that's a shipyard working on the colony. Let's keep on going. The scout. A mysterious single occupant craft has appeared in orbit around our homeworld. Our ships quickly surround the intruder who explains she's a scout from a peaceful but secretive race from the far side of the galaxy. In exchange for her release and the provision of supplies to repair her sensor device, she offers you a sampler of advanced sensor technology your people have. We will gladly have uh, we have gladly have held her for no reward, but we won't turn this down. Her ship has a lot more than that on it, certainly. Threaten to expose her entire rest of the galaxy if she does not share something in better return. The sensor device perhaps. Okay, I'll take that. Pragmatics. You swear your top of the English bullshit drink of the Jajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajajaj
Yeah, this one has it's slightly slower, but it's a lot higher speed. I mean range. Makes no sense. Ideal ship. Um where do I want to build a thing? Where is something that's quite valuable? Hmm. Um Let's just go right there and you know, just right there and build a build a freaking base. Space station. Space station. Let's go. Actually wait. You should come down here instead. That's better. Yeah. That's a lot better. I have a tendency to rush in these games, so I'm gonna try to make sure I slow down Xenocommerce. There we go. Okay, we finished. What? You know plans are concerned about the ramped up trading technology, blah no. What? What? Why? Colonized planet, sure. Thunderstorms. This planet is going through a period of heavy thunderstorm activity. This is affecting some ancient ruins near your colony. You get energizing what was thought to be Ernest Stone, revealing to be power revealing it to be a powerful alien artifact capable of channeling the tremendous energy. Sometimes the energy is channeled into uh, the bodies of anyone standing nearby. I don't know why I was doing that weird voice earlier. Don't worry about it. With predictable predictably messy consequences. Staying in these rooms could prove incredibly valuable. Although dangerous to anyone has to do it. What are your orders? So long as the researchers volunteer, there shouldn't be any problem. Make sure that whoever goes in the thing understands the danger. Okay, yep. I'm good with that. The reported location where the uh, scouts originally made planet fall. Consulate. Power matrix. Speeds up the rate of new, new war production. Research war, your. Be prepared. Fast assembly. Okay, that's that's all they need to do for the next couple of years, right? So we got power. Oh, we're low. Maybe that's because I'm not building military ships. I always feel like I'm gonna end up getting really low in power just because I don't bother with military at the beginning. I don't know. I don't know how exactly it is determining your power. I know we are extremely weak. But I'm gonna end this episode here. See you next time on Let's Play Galactic Civilizations. Like the video if you enjoyed and subscribe if you want to see more every day. Bye.